Hello everyone, it is me, Big Dummy 72 here with another video. For those of you who are wondering what this is, um, you know, it's not cooking chemicals, uh, uh, unintelligent literature reviews, or uh, epic how to snores at gaming. It's a transformer review. Some of you saw this coming, as I've made a few of you aware of this, but yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing Perfect Effects, um, dang it, um, Psychronite. There we go. I'm a bit retarded right now. Retired. So I'm going to be reviewing Perfect Effects Psychronite in their Perfect Beast line. I think it is number seven or number six in their line. I should edit it in the video somewhere. I'll, I'll put the full uh, description of the figure, at least the full name. So, yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing him. But before we get into that, I'm just going to let you know this review might be a bit lengthy. It's also going to be very tedious for me to do because a certain figure is a pain in the butt to transform at certain times. He's also very sharp. This thing here is very painful. So are these. And that's why I'm going, when I transform him, the wings will be taken off. But that is for later. So I'm going to be reviewing Perfect Effect Psycho Knight. Um, it is a take on the Transformers, uh, Robots in Disguise, uh, what's his name? Cryotech, there we go. That thing. Which is a recolor of the Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron, uh, which Perfect Effect also did their take on. I think it's called Beast Doragon. Uh, same price as this dude. It was sold out on a big bad toy store, so I got this this one. I actually do kind of prefer this one, the blue color scheme, and with the different dragon mold head, even though you can't switch between the head, the head molds if you want. <coughs> as for later, because the dragon mode, it is, it is probably going to be the thing you display it as. The robot mode is also very nice, but the dragon mode, very good. So, on to the figure itself. Um, basically, when I first unboxed this figure, he was much bigger than I thought. I expected him to be an inch or two smaller, but I, um, I should I uh, should be putting up an image here, an image or two here of me unboxing it, just like a picture of the figure as it's coming out of the box. But anyway, on to the review. This is a very nice figure, if you couldn't tell. Um, very good. He's for size comparison in robot mode. Here is my waist. He's about two thirds of my torso. He's a big boy. So, with the figure, take the camera. Get a nice little view of it. Here is the head of the figure. It's a very nice mold. I can switch between the heads if you want. Oh, I popped the neck piece off. Whoops. Anyway, you can switch between the head molds. The secondary head mold is stored in the arm right there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to switch between them because I do prefer the, the uh, mouthpiece head mold. Now, right off the bat with this figure, there's one thing that you are going to have to figure out how to do, and that is balance the wings. The wings are very large and very heavy. And, well, get this in camera. So, the, the, the wings, they are very heavy. I'd say about mm, half a pound, maybe a pound each. And, well, if I can get things on. If you cannot learn to balance the heft of these wings, well, you're going to want to die. Not like I needed any help with that, but still, you're going to want to die. So these wings, they do have a lot of heft to them. Uh, you learn how to balance them. This is, an, this is, of course, not a very good pose for him. This is just, you know, basic default. I was lazy, didn't feel like posing him after I transformed him in about two minutes. Uh... Because I vacuumed the entirety of my liver, living room for the video, then realized that the dining room would be a much better position for this. <coughs> Let's see, the Psychronite. Um, he's on the shield. He has this little sword knife pop out. It's a bit sharp, so be careful. And of course, one of the main um, what's this, uh, selling points of the robot mode would be the dragon arm. 
Let me just get this full thing in the camera. It is very large. For size comparison, let me stick the end of it. Here's like my hand. It's bigger than my hand. It goes up to about a bit past my wrist. If you look at the actual thing. It goes to about there-ish. That's I don't even know if that's fully extended, but yeah, he, it is a very big arm, and you can get some pretty good poses with it. The only problem is, for reasons of transformation and posability, I guess I don't know why they did this. You can't actually get that good of uh, range of poses with the dragon arm without breaking the sculpt. This, no, this is one of my one issues with the figure. Look at that, look at that gap. You can't really see it that well because, well, I have my phone on a tripod and it's not very easy to maneuver, but it is not, it does not look very good. So you have to very, very slightly and subtly move the arm and, uh, with the like, little small arcs. Such as this. If I did this, it breaks the sculpt, so I have to do it very subtly. So like that. And that still breaks the sculpt a little bit. So the dragon mold, so the dragon head, <coughs> and the arm. Damn it. The dragon arm. You guys see what I said about wanting to die? So yeah, basic possibility. Let me show you the other mold before I go over possibility. Um, you can actually take off this uh, silver piece and switch it out for a dragon nose and get it out of its packaging. Let's see this. Is that on right? Eh, close enough. Switch it out for a nose mold. If I can get it in shot. As you can see, you know, you know this. I do like this. I do prefer. I, I, I'm actually pretty sure I do prefer this over this. But you know, this is still pretty nice. I do like this a good bit. Take this off. Put the other one back on because it is superior in my opinion. Okay, on to the posability of the figure. Basically, it's based on his ability, if I can get it in shot, in my crappy tri uh, phone tripod, you have ball joint, ball joint, not ball joint, more like a hinge joint there, and it's not very flexible. Right here, you have a hinge with a swivel. Right here, right here, you have a hinge with another hinge with, you guessed it, another hinge. Same thing as the other arm. So on the other arm, it doesn't have the dragon neck arm thing. So, you know, same posability shoulder. Arm is just, I can do it without paint, chipping the paint. Kind of like this. And then, of course, you can swivel it back like that. Uh, there's a whole lot of pos posability. Like, I can even twist the forearm, I think. Can I? Yes, I can. Uh, hand posability. The thumb. Let me show you. The thumb here can move back and forth. Wow. Very cool. Thank you, Perfect Effect, for your very limited range of motion. The finger. Woohoo! Yay! Again, showing how it's going to make you want to die if you cannot balance the wings. A thruster on the leg just came off. Woohoo! <coughs> Freaking kidding me. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, forgive the sound pollution in the background. As in the time it took for me to fix the wings, the uh, jet engine that is my heater turned on. So that's going to be great for the audio. So as I was saying, uh, you can move the thumb. So, uh, swivel. The finger. The pointer finger has a bend at the, uh, you can show it off, it's a bend at the finger as well as a bend at the knuckle, I think, whatever that thing is right there on my finger. The rest of the fingers, 
Um, they also have a bend at the knuckle, but they are attached together. So you can't actually, you know, separate them. You can't actually pose them individually. Which, you know, the fingers are pretty small. It's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And, of course, there is also... I forgot to mention, on this arm, I think there's a reason. The reason why there's a lack of posability is because of this nice transformation feature that I will show you. Put the hinges up. Drag an arm up. Straighten out the neck. Push up the previous neck bars. It does not, unfortunately, it does not close fully, but what are you going to do? Uh, let's see this. It's good enough, I guess. It transforms into cannon arm. Make sure the make sure the wings are pushed down now, so I can show posability without having without having them fall off again for the fourth time. Of course, now this shows off the arm. It's very similar to the other arm. I'm not going to show off the posability in this hand because it's the exact same as the other hand. But that, basically. Yeah, it's just like a normal arm, but with a dragon cannon. And I actually do prefer this over the dragon neck arm. I just like the cannon aesthetic. And I just like big weaponry. It's fun. Yeah, that's that's the arm. These things do move up and down. These things like do have a swivel. And that's not important. Because that doesn't really give you too much. I guess you, like, you could do it in some way. But hey, we're going to do. So yeah, the shoulder pads. They do move around. But that's mostly for a transformation. <coughs> the head can be moved back and forth can look down somewhat and up you get more range of motion if you pick up the neck ponytail thing and you can move it around with it yeah you can look up a little bit yeah that's basically it you can move that don't know why actually no, that's for uh, switching out the head sculpts let's see this so in the legs let me pick them up we have have a ratchet joint that is a hinge joint for the hip. Swivel at the thigh, I think is what it is. Knee ratchet bend. Uh, you can, it is a, uh, let me move the thruster so you can see it. Knee. It does go down. You can do that if you want. It doesn't look like that, but that's mostly for dragon mode, so we're going to ignore that. On the back. In the leg, you have a very nice ankle pivot. It actually is a bit better if you when you transform him in the dragon mode, but you know, again that's for later. That's basically the legs. Of course you can move the thrusters back and forth. Um trying to cut myself again. You can move these skirts up for a very nice kick forward. And then if you flip out the back skirt. You get a very nice, you can get a pretty decent backwards kick. And then, of course, there is a very, move the arm up. It's a, if you do it properly, unlike me, because I'm a moron, very nice spread of the leg. It can go all the way out, but I'm dumb and I don't want to break it. That's also a transformation feature. Yeah, the other leg does the exact same. Now, for the final bit of posability, of course, we have the wings. Actually, not the second final bit, so. On the wings, you have. Let me get you an angle from the back. And of course, right here you can move it back there at the start right there, there but it's very difficult, so I'm not going to do it. You can, of course, using the hinge. Oh, don't pop off again. Using the hinge, you can move it back and forth if you want. Or a little bit of. Uh, you can make the wings flap if you want. Of course, you have. Let me, uh, did, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you have this. The wing can go up to here. Of course, that's this does serve as a sword. You can put it in the robot mode hand. I'm, I will show it off in a second. Uh, so yeah, that goes up to there. And this wing goes up to here. This one goes up always well, but you know I like to put it to here. And these two can go up to also all the way up there, but it doesn't look good. So you want to you want to get a decent wing spread pose. Get that one down. I can do this. Oh, I almost fell again. <sighs> oh, I'm not having good luck with this figure right now. 
and you can get the wings spread down like that. And yeah. Oh, almost dropped my tripod. And that is doing, that's a basic wing spread. You can do it with the other wing too if you want. I'm not going to for reasons of I don't want to drop the figure again. I'm getting a bit frustrated. It's not good for the video. I'm sorry guys, I'm getting a bit frustrated, but I have a temper. And this figure is a bit annoying sometimes because of the large, massive heft that is the wings. And of course, on to the final bit of posability on the robot mode is the ponytail neck thing. Not neck, the ponytail uh, thing. So, right here you have ball joint, hinge joint, hinge joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint. And that is the full range of motion on the tail neck thing. Not neck. Why do I keep calling it neck? Ah, I'm a retard. Anyway, that is essentially the robot mode's range of, uh, what's the term? Their, uh, posability or articulation. There we go. I, I guess I'll show you off a pose. Let me pause it and I'll get back to when there's a decent pose. Okay, I have now posed the figure. I'll give you a good look of what he can look like, you know, how decent he can look. Of course, he can look much better than this. I'm just not very good at posing things because, you know, I didn't feel like taking too much time with it. As you can see, he's look pretty nice with his wings spread out and his cannon arm up. Now, one thing I had to mention with my figure, don't know if it was if it goes with this figure in general or if it was just mine. On this wing right here, this particular wing piece was very loose at the start. I had to get a screwdriver and manually tighten the living crap out of it, like brute force it. I felt like I was gonna break it. I was very scared that I was going to have that I was about to waste one hundred eighty dollars trying to fix it, because that's how much that's how much money this figure costs. And if I had broken it, let me tell you, there would have been some not nice words that I would have said about it. <coughs> Hold on, I'm going to be right back as my mom is taking the dogs out. Okay. I should have the cut. Uh, my mom was taking the dogs out. So let's see, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so yeah, this is a basic pose you can get with them. Uh, you know, I don't have the wings spread all the way out, but, you know, I, you know, I didn't feel like it. Um, yeah, th this, yeah, this is the warning I was trying to say. This wing might be a bit loose. Just fair warning. Um, let's see this. Did anything else go wrong? Not that I can think of. Oh, yeah, I, I promised to show off the sword. So if you want, you can take out the wing right here. It becomes a sword. And so, if I'm not a complete moron with this, I can give him a sword. And he can hoard, he can hold the sword with uh, the dragon cannon. I could, I could stick it. I could stick it in this hand right here, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. I already have this hand pulled out, so. Yeah, you can do, you, want, you can do something like this with the, with the figure, but then it looks a bit uneven as this wing's missing a blade, so you could just like, oh, fun. <sighs> you can just like, stick that down, I guess you could take out the sword on this one, just put it off the side, so you could do the same thing with this wing, so you could just have him wielding the one sword. This look pretty nice, but I do prefer him with the full wing. The sword back in the wing. Okay. So, that's basically the robot mode. And so now I'm going to get on to the transformation. So, push you back a little bit. I will turn this around. This entire. I'll probably just edit this section out. I'll see. Or not. If you're saying this, I'm lazy. That most, you know, that's probably not going to come to the most surprise for most of you. Yep, this entire thing's definitely getting edited out. This is like a whole minute long process. <coughs> Alright, I've moved the camera back. So now, I'm going to... Up. There we go. 
now on to the transformation. Ow. So, basically, you can do the transformation with the wings on. I am not going to because I, I don't want to. It is not fun. So, these will go off to the side. I can take them apart. Please come off. Thank you. Uh, so, you're going to want to get the dragon arm uh, out of cannon mode. Stick it into dragon uh, arm mode. If the figure will decide to cooperate with me today. All right, we're going to start the transformation. Of course, you're going to want to unpost them entirely. It makes it easier. That's a bit more in view. Straighten out the leg. Straighten out the legs, not bend them in. <sighs> Fix everything, and begin the transformation. So we're going to take the head off all the way, twist the head around like this, and one important thing to note about this part, he can eat his own ass. Yay! big boy so I know you can't see him in this frame but I'm just gonna spread the wings out for a second before I uh, fix the camera because you know it's kind of how it works oh it's, yep here's the annoying wing being loose still this one right here this piece right here is still loose and it's not fun it's really agitating all right That's not going to stay up. I'll fix it in a second, but you can't quite see him. So, to move the camera up and back. Here we go. He's a very big boy. He might not look at it. You might not look like it in the current pose because the his uh, my phone is very far away from it, but in comparison, he is about the size of my torso. This I, I love the dragon mode. This is my favorite of the out of the three modes. That's right, three modes. I'm going to be going over the third mode in a little bit. Spoiler alert, it's a worthless piece of garbage. But, you know. They had to stay original to the they had to stay original to the uh, base figure, which had a third mode which happened to be a vehicle mode. It was not good. 
Just kind of pop the dragon with arm in all the way without breaking the figure. So it will stay in place. Like a good $180 figure should. No. But. Yeah, you can. Basically, all the posability is the same here. Just now the head has the arm uh, posability and articulation. Uh, of course, you have the added hip things here. Can't see that well. It's blocked by the thruster. I'm not moving the thruster because I'm lazy. So yeah, Dragon Lord is very nice. I really like the look of it. If I had the pose I got on it originally, uh, before I started just minute, before I essentially um, tr uh, transformed it like 20 times and messed up my good pose. Oh, why is it doing it again? Why can't you cooperate with me? Ah, screw it all. Fix it in a little bit. Anyway, shit, back to what I was saying. It is a really nice pose I had that looked really good. Unfortunately, I'm too much of a moron to figure out how to do it again. So here we are. Let me see if I can pose them for you guys. One second. Yeah, this, this figure is very large. He doesn't like to cooperate sometimes. Why is it that he cooperates with me always, except for in the review? Something's jittery. I don't like that. It's probably the wheels. Yeah, it's the wheels. Okay, here he is in his magnificent glory in dragon mode. I'm going to pick up the phone so I can show you. As you can see, I think it's low enough. They're very nice. Look on the legs. Uh, get a better view. As you can see right there, legs look very nice. Same with that leg right there. Torso. You know, he's a little bit of a tummy belly thing. Um, you know, that's fine. You know, some people might give him uh, mischievous intentions with that, uh, such as a pot belly. But, you know, I don't care about that. The wings are very large. Um, let me get a good size comparison for the wings for you. In fact, I actually have a ruler I can go get, so I'm going to bring the ruler. Okay. Get from the start to the end. Each wing is about 13 and a half, 13, 13 and a half inches. Uh, if you don't, if you don't do, um... Imperial or American things, if you use metric, uh, I don't know how big that is. It's large. Let me get a full shot of this. Full wing span with meh posing. It's over 18 inches. Um, yeah, this is like at least two, two and a half feet. This is definitely at least two feet. He's a very big boy. Um, and for comparison, you know, I'm going to go get some figures for size comparison. Alright, so for size comparisons, here is Origin Xerxes in his lion mode, which you have not, actually I have not reviewed yet, I probably will review. He's also another perfect effect figure, as you can see, tiny in comparison. They look nice together though if you do it right, but I'm not going to pose him, because he's a pain in the butt to pose. Because, well, lots of die cast of metal. Using the cold touch technique on this figure, there is no die cast metal. Um, if you don't know what the cold touch technique is, it's where you feel every single part of the figure or whatever part you're looking for, and if it's cold, it's probably die cast metal. On this figure, die cast metal, die cast metal, die cast metal. Basically, anything that's silver besides this 
is diecast metal. But that's for another review. Also, I've had them for so long, that the weapon and the arms don't like to cooperate. Also, for size comparison, it's a returning big boy. If I can pick him up, because he's like 20 pounds. Here is Pandanus. Yeah, he's basically the size of Pandanus, and Pandanus is $400. But in Pandanus' defense, he is much thicker than him, than, uh, Psycho than, uh, Psychronite. Psychronite, he's slimmer, and he looks really cool. He's much different from the original, from the original design in Beast Wars, um, which was very organic and asymmetrical. Basically, you know, instead of the old lumpy, frumpy boy, we have this new slick, metallic design, which I've already shown off, but still, I just like, I just love showing this off, now that he's not a pain in the butt to transform, because the transformation process is over. Like, look at the detailing in those wings. And that nice, translucent blue. Oh, that's so good. Anyway, let's get the camera out again. Yeah, there's Pandanus in comparison. I'll try to get him closer. Big boy. Let's get the height. Basically, he's the size of my torso, essentially. But, oops. A bit over a foot tall, but he is slouching. I can make him taller if I want. I don't want to, though. He's about 16 inches tall. Pandanus with the tail up over 18. Probably about... 20 inches or so, <clears throat> something like that, but again, we've already reviewed him, not as good as detail as this one, as, uh, as Sucker Knight. I still have to transform Pandanus on video, but I think for obvious reasons of he's heavy and he hurts uh, to touch, that's probably why it's not going to happen. Who knows, maybe I'll do it. I, I promised that two years ago, I still haven't done it. And also, back with the old um, nose piece, if you don't like the silver, you know, dragon skull mold, you can switch it out for the dragon nose piece. And if I, I do have to put this on correctly. There we go. There he is with the normal nose, if you want that. I don't like it as much. It looks pretty cool, but... I do much prefer the skull piece. So again, take off the nose. Please cooperate so I can get this done quick. <sighs> Hold on a second. All right, the the uh, dragon skull is back on. So it's overall dragon mode, very nice. Now, I did mention this is a triple changer. I have not yet transformed him into the vehicle mode, but let me tell you, <coughs> I already know that it is a piece of garbage from what I've seen. Let's see this. Where's dragon mode? Okay. Cue the transformation music. Oh, and one thing to note before I start transformation, where's the other instruction manual? Want to know how many steps it is to transform this dude from robot mode to dragon mode? Let's see this. So it's all of this. All of this. And then this. This is for vehicle mode. So let's get into that. So I'm going to be
checked our land. And here we are. Wheel thing mode. Yeah, it's a piece of it's a piece of garbage. The vehicle mode is a piece of garbage, just like the original figure. Um I think they only put it in because the original figure, like the actual thing this is based off, uh, it did this, so it get out of this. But you know, at least this one has wheels, so you can play around with it. Woo! Yay! You can wheel it back and forth and get absolutely nothing because it can't even turn. And then if you try to do anything, the dragon mode neck pops out. But, you know, at least you can wheel it around. Woo These front wheels don't even spin very well because they're on too tight. Thanks a lot, perfect effect. You, you do a crappy vehicle mode, you can't even do that right. But you can wheel it back and forth. Woohoo! And then, then he decides that he no longer wants to live. And then he commits um, a self-die. And then he drives off the edge and dies. Because I would too if I look if my vehicle mode was this. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my review of Perfect Effects take on uh, Cryotech. This is of course Psycho Knight. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want. I actually don't care. If you don't, uh, I will cry. I'll make sure I make a video on it, maybe, and then you'll feel really bad. Then you'll cry because you made me feel bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Uh, either, this is my next video, is either going to be a Transformer review on so, some of the Transformers I haven't reviewed, which I have like five uh, expensive Transformers I haven't reviewed, um, or I might make another Unintelligent Literature reviews, probably on Romeo and Juliet. I have a lot of stuff to say about that. Spoiler alert, it's it's a, it's somewhat comical. Um, I don't like Romeo and Juliet, the story. But there's a lot of funny words that we learned. The, most of them are very sexual. But it's funny, so stay tuned for that video. Um, also, YouTube, if your parental, if your child safety regulation FTC thing marks this video as marketed for kids, even though I'm going to specifically say it's not for kids, I'm going to, I'm going to scream at you. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.